So now we'll scroll, scroll down, see the free level of T4, free T4 direct, 1.31. Range I like to use is 1 to 1.5. Again, total T4 looks fine. Point that we're really making here is that we've seen a few different markers that would suggest this person's thyroid initially looks okay. In other words, if they go in for their routine physical, Dr. Rand, TSH, free T3, free T4 even, these would look okay. Mm -hmm. There's a kicker though, so stay tuned till the end. Because this is what we see this all, is what we see the, all time. the time. All the mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's, this person's flying under the radar. Totally. So, free T4 looks fine, right? So far, we're checking off the boxes. This person's thyroid seems to look okay. Next, we see reverse T3. And reverse T3, that one's worth discussing too. Her levels are fine. I like to use 15 to 24 as the optimal range. 19.2 is fine. Let's talk about reverse T3. <clears throat> T3 is the active form of the hormone, right? Reverse T3 is a competitive binder. So what does that mean? Reverse T3 is during times of stress. It's, it's produced during times of stress. Stress is largely, me largely mediated by cortisol. Cortisol and thyroid hormone are both very energizing hormones. If both of them are high at the same time, you're gonna metabolically burn out. So as a protective mechanism, if you're undergoing chronic stress, the body's like, no problem. Let's just shunt T3 production towards reverse T3 to protect your body. So in other words, if we see that reverse T3 is high, you will have hypothyroid symptoms that are secondary to some form of stressor, okay? Thyroid is fine. A second form of stressor is creating that cellular hypothyroidism, which relates into, I feel hypothyroid. Right, um, and I think it's important because we live in a stressful world. Yeah. Like we are stressed yeah. as a society, we are stressed out. Absolutely. And so we're seeing this present more and more and more mm -hmm. because of our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Maybe, like you said, not necessarily that your thyroid has an issue, but your lifestyle mm -hmm. and how you're showing up and just just how we have to operate in this mm -hmm. world is causing the stress. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep. Your thyroid is fine. It's the lifestyle that's the problem. We right. can't utilize thyroid hormone important distinction because mm -hmm. it's very common just to be placed on thyroid hormones mm -hmm. without really spending time with you as the client to figure out, well, what does your life actually look like, mm -hmm. right? Is this a symptom of lifestyle? Exactly. And in this case in particular, adding, taking more thyroid hormone could make it a lot worse. We're going to build up and perpetuate that resistance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got our T3s and our T4s. Mm -hmm. Um, I just want to say something about the T4 as well is when you're getting your thyroid run, right, you're having a thyroid lab run and you just get the TSH and maybe you do get put on a prescription um, pharmaceutical, mm -hmm. right, levothyroxine, mm -hmm. thin synthroid. Yeah, that's a good point. It's really important that you do know your T3, T4 levels because some pharmaceuticals don't contain T4 mm -hmm. and you might need it. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's really important when you do ask for your labs or you come to us and you have them run, we're going to look at that to make sure if you do need a T4 supplementation mm -hmm. that it's in the prescription or it's in the supplement or we're addressing how the body can make more of it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. And on that same